me Courtney and welcome to my channel in today's video we are going to be creating this look which is another spring inspired situation today we are going to be using all color pop products mostly ColourPop products. There are a few things that I had to switch out just because there are certain products that I can't use in ColourPop that don't look right on me, which we'll get to in the video. Um, but yeah, so if you are curious on how to get this look, then please continue to watch. First things first, I'm going to prime my skin with the Smashbox Primerizer. ColourPop does have a primer, however it is matte and doesn't work well for me and the foundation we're gonna be using today. While that's settling in, I'm going in with the Precision Pencil from ColourPop just to fill in my brows. Then cleaning it up with concealer. I'm gonna prime my lids with that same concealer as well. Um, this time I'm not going to set it with powder. And I'm gonna take the Sweet Talk palette and taking Work It and working that into and slightly above my crease. Next, I'm gonna take the color West Side and work that further into the crease, but slightly below the first color we put down. Next, I'm using the Jelly Mud Shadow in Whistling Pixie, and I'm actually gonna work from the excess on the lid, and with the flat brush, I'm gonna slowly and carefully carve out my crease. Filling it in as I go. Working it all the way to the outer corner. I'm taking the color side to side and using my finger to place it in the middle of my lid just for a little more sparkle. Going back into the palette, I'm using Feel Free and placing that on my outer lid corner, blending it into the Jelly Mutt shadow after it's dried a little bit. Moving back to the face, I'm taking my No Filter Foundation Stick to create my base. Now this color is deeper than my skin tone, but I didn't want a repeat of the ColourPop Liquid Foundation where it took three tries to get the color right and it still turned gray on me. This foundation stick is not as creamy as most foundation sticks I've used. Um, it does have a little more tug than I would like, but I do love the coverage. And when using it with the moisturizing primer, um, it does give it a little more slip. Also, it tends to take on whatever finish your primer is. So if you use a matte primer, this foundation will be matte. After blending with the brush, I like to use a sponge to take away any excess product and make sure everything is blended well. Next, I'm taking the same concealer and applying that to the usual highlighting areas. Um, so forehead, down the nose, above the lip and on the chin, and of course, under the eye covering any dark circles and angling it upwards in order to lift the eyes. Then we blend, flipping the sponge for a more seamless blend. I'm also taking the concealer to the side of my bridge in order to define our nose contour. To set the concealer, I'm using the Huda Beauty Setting Powder in Blondie. I did actually try the ColourPop Loose Powders, but they're not my favorite for my under eye. It leaves them a little drier and they definitely don't work with other concealers. Next, I'm using a deeper concealer color to contour. And as you can see, I'm not using a lot. This concealer as a contour spreads like crazy in the most awesome way. Um, and a little bit gets the job done. I'm using a very small amount of the ColourPop Press Bronzer in Rodeo Drive just for a little bit more warmth to the complexion. To finish off the eyes, I'm going into the Salvaje palette. This is the collab palette they did with Becky G. And I'm taking the color Serena and adding that to my lower lash line with the pencil brush. Mm -hmm. 
Then I'm going back into the Sweet Talk palette for the color Meadow and blending that right below the blue color. Next, I'm taking the Jelly Mud Shadow in Just Your Voice, which is the most beautiful like blue, purple, tealish color ever. Again, working from the lid, we're gonna take a tiny smudger brush and place that on the inner corner first. And then drag it along the lower lash line, stopping about one third of the way. Going back into the Salvaje palette, I'm taking Estrella and I'm placing that on the inner corner to brighten it. Then I'm placing the ColourPop Gel Liner in Exit in my waterline. And the Gel Liner in Swerve on my top lash line. While my lash glue was getting tacky, I went ahead um, with the ColourPop BFF Mascara. I actually really like this mascara. It does give my tiny lashes just a little bit of lift. Next, we added lashes. To finish off the face, I took the Super Shock Blush in No Vacancy and I stippled that on my cheek with the densely packed synthetic brush. The first highlighter I used was Everybody's Got a Weakness from the Villains Collection, which has a golden pink and peach shifting reflect. And I used my finger to place that on the normal highlighting points of the face. Then I used the Luster Dust Loose Highlighter in Chisme or Kisme also from the Becky G collab. And I used that over top the first highlighter we put down. Next, I took a clean, fluffy powder brush and buffed my entire face, mostly to get rid of excess glitter, but also to blend everything together. To set everything, we're using the ColourPop All-Star Setting Spray. This spray does claim to be mattifying, but to me, it's a little bit more on the dewy side. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray, and it does a really good job of like melting your makeup together pretty nicely. For lips, I first use the Lippy Pencil Embossy to line. Then took the Luxe Lipstick in Flower Season on top of that. And that's the final look. All right guys, that about does it for me. Hopefully this video was uh, fun and inspired you guys a little bit. If so, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video if the mood suits you, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.